Hello, I'm Michael Diamond. You're watching Muscle Central. Okay, I'm going to quickly recap the cl uh, classic physique of 212 uh, Olympia placings. Just the top three in both divisions. Uh, classic physique was an easy one to uh, call. Uh, as I, uh, picked, we had Br Chris Bumstead, once again, three-time, now three-time Classic Physique champion, second place, Terrence Ruffin, third place, Brianna Asley. Right now, like I said before, in the pre-show video, there's no one at the moment that's going to touch Chris Bobstad. Uh It's just that far ahead of everybody. Uh, now, Terrence Ruffin, who came in second, if we took that physique and put it on a larger frame, might be a different story, but with everything that Chris Bumstead has going for him and with that decided height and width advantage, he's much taller, much wider, he's just very imposing next to his closest competition, Terrence Ruffin. Maybe in a couple of years, we're going to see uh, there's a couple of guys out there that might be able to really push him. But as of now, uh, you're probably going to see Chris up number one and uh, Terrence number two for the next few years. Maybe uh, similar to the Ronnie and Jay thing, year after year, it was Ronnie and it was Jay. Uh, Brian Ansley, uh, probably, he started off bodybuilding. He's probably better off, and there's been talk about it, that he would go into the 212. I mean, great physique. Brings tremendous conditioning, awesome back. Uh, is nothing to knock about his physique, but uh, I guess they're looking we're looking for a certain look uh, for classic physique and the way he's put together. It's not that look they're looking for, obviously. I don't think he has any chance of winning the top placings and big shows, which would be the Olympia or even the Auto Classic. He's more suited towards bodybuilding. And I think it's gonna go he's gonna go in that direction. Uh 212. Let me first say this. I've been critical of him for a while. And I think it was justified, and I'm giving him a lot of credit. Derek Lunsford brought in his best package. There's no doubt about it. Uh, whatever he wasn't doing, or maybe was doing, you know what I mean. Uh, with his other coach, it's not doing the same with Honey. Honey brought in, Honey, Honey, not Honey, Honey, helped bring him in in his best conditioning to date. Do I think he deserved First, uh, 
it wasn't like the champion was off at all. Uh, actually, uh, Sean Clarita looked harder, more conditioned, uh, uh, shredded muscle, and more, I said, more muscle on, a, on an inch for inch basis. Sean Clarita is carrying more muscle than anyone on that stage. Keep in mind, uh, yes, 180, 181 pounds on stage, but he's only five foot two. And inch for inch, he is carrying a tremendous amount of muscle. And like I said, it was hard, dense, uh, conditioned muscle. He wasn't missing anything anywhere. Yes, uh, Derek was bigger than him structurally, uh, wider than him, but then again, he should be given the difference in height. But when it comes down to it, as good a package as Derek brought in uh, as far as muscle detail, density, and conditioning, Sean, I feel, still had him beat. And I think he should have retained the title of 212 Mr. Olympia. 212 Olympia champion, excuse me. There's only one Mr. Olympia is the big in the big boys. Uh retained the title of 212 uh Olympia champion. Uh what's gonna happen down the line? Uh I think we're gonna see a nice battle come next year. Sean's uh st- is not going to give up by any means. He's to come back be- even better uh, to try to regain the title. Third place, Kamala Gogni, who lost the title to uh, Sean Clarita the previous year. Uh, three champions in three years. You know... I think structurally, he's not the prettiest, but the fr- guy brings in freaking conditioning, uh, and he's pretty much balanced from head to toe. And to top it off, he's taking a page right out of Dexter Jackson's playbook. He's 50 years old, and he actually might be uh, going even further because by this age, we already saw a little uh, step uh, drop back with Dexter. Uh, f- a little fading, fading a little bit. Kamala Gogni seems to still be getting better. Uh, do I think he's going to regain the 212 title? No. Do I think he's going to be battling up there for the top positions over the next couple of years? Yes. That's if he choose to continue competing at his age. Yes. So, that's about it for the short recap of the Classic Bazooka 212. And I just want to finish off with uh, George Peterson, who we unfortunately did not get a chance to see compete in the Olympia. Uh, He was my pick for second behind Sean Clarita. Uh, You know, there's still throwing these videos out there, talking a lot of shit, pointing fingers at people 
uh, about for I'm putting blame on George's death. Said it before in my in my previous video, you go back and watch it, the video I put up uh, before this one. But I agree there are there's some very dangerous practices being done by some and there are bad coaches, dangerous coaches that are giving out dangerous protocols. What this is appearing to be, and like I said in my previous video, I'm very confident that we're going to find out this is what happened. It was an aneurysm. We found out his father, unfortunately, passed away around the same age from an aneurysm. George was found face down, blood coming out of his nose, which can be representative of a aneurysm. And we're just waiting to find out the final results of autopsy. Stop making these uh, accusations and saying all these different things without knowing what the truth is. Let me tell you something. If it was shown that it was due to dangerous protocols, I'd be the first to scream about, scream about it. But it appears to be, unfortunately, something genetic. And it just so happens that it occurred before, just before a competition. Let the man rest in peace. Uh, don't make these wild accusations until you know what the facts are. Okay, that's about it for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please share and by all means subscribe. Do not forget to hit that notification bell. This way, every time I put up a new video, you will be notified. Also, if you go to the description box, you're going to find some links there. One link is to the Facebook Muscle Central page. Any questions, you can go there, DM me. I'd be happy to answer them. Also, you're going to find links to Species Nutrition, Mr. Pot's Protein. Click on both links. Go to both, go to both websites and check out all their great products. Once again, this is Michael Diamond, and I'd like to thank you for watching Muscle Central.